Hey everyone, Dr. Adam Palumbo here. Going to go over two spine stabilization exercises for you today. Uh, think of spine stabilization as the way that your muscles make your spine rigid and able to perceive uh, forces exerted um, by you lifting something or just reaching for something or moving in general. So the two I'm going to go over are one from a seated position uh, involves your, you trying to prevent rotation, single leg training. Uh, the second is going to be something in the quadruped position. This is a very safe neutral spine exercise. Both of them are neutral spine exercises really. With any stabilization exercise, the goal is to keep a neutral spine. And what I mean by that is you want to avoid flexion or extension of the spine. <clears throat> And so the challenge is to keep a neutral position. Make sense? So with this first exercise, you're going to be seated with your thigh relatively parallel to the floor. Um, the angle between your thigh and knee should be about 90 degrees with your foot flat on the floor. And it's gonna look something like this. <clears throat> seated at the edge of the seat, sitting up straight, maintaining a neutral spine. You put one leg out in front of you, trying to keep your torso and, uh, and your, your shoulders and hips square, not rotating either way in order to stand up. You're just going to stand up and then lower yourself down in a controlled fashion, just like this. You want to keep your abdomen tight during the whole exercise. And with that, you can repeat uh, six or so repetitions, six to eight repetitions is probably what you'll be able to do by about two sets. So two sets of six to eight repetitions is appropriate for that. I recommend you do that every other day because you might notice your legs get a little sore with that one. The second exercise I want to go over is something in the quadruped position. This is a position where you're on your hands and your knees um, and it's a really safe position for most exercises. You can keep a neutral spine pretty easily. And we're going to uh, make it challenging for you to keep that neutral spine by moving an arm or a leg. I'll show you right now. Here, hands and knees, quadruped, keeping a neutral spine. From here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to either do a, a kickback as far as I can, maintaining a neutral spine position, alternating legs, if that's pretty easy and you don't feel much in your abdomen with that, what you're going to do is add in the opposite arm reach. As far as you can, alternating arms and legs. With that one, you're going to want to aim for about three sets of eight to 10 repetitions uh, per side. This is a pretty safe exercise. It shouldn't hurt you back. Sometimes if you do have a little soreness in your back, it's the spine stabilizing muscles shouting out for uh, strength and support and stabilization. So sometimes if your back's sore and you do some of these exercises and you notice it feels better, then that means that um, you're feeling some of your discomfort as a result of uh, poor spine stabilization muscle activation. So uh, that's all I got for this one. Um, tune in next time. But if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to contact or email the office. Have a great one, guys. Bye.